he captivated the room, bringing the nation's leaders to their feet and some to tears. And he did it without saying a word. He is Sergeant First Class Corey Remsburg, and last night he received the longest and loudest standing ovation during the president's address in the House chamber. Corey is here tonight, and like the Army he loves, like the America he serves, Sergeant First Class Corey Remsburg never gives up and he does not quit. The 30-year-old from Arizona has been deployed to fight for the U.S. 10 times, the last time to Kandahar. On his 10th deployment, Corey was nearly killed by a massive roadside bomb in Afghanistan. His comrades found him in a canal, face down, underwater, shrapnel in his brain. That was October 2009. After months in a coma and years in hospitals and rehabilitation centers, the Army Ranger was finally able to return home to Arizona last April. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's working hard trying to find that independence, and that's what we're here to do, help him find that. His father, Craig, and stepmother, Annie, have been with him throughout his recovery, supporting him physically and emotionally as the country recognizes his sacrifice. We are the blessed ones. We're the ones who got our son back. President Obama met the Army Ranger before his injury. He then saw him again at his bedside in Bethesda and at a rehabilitation center after the life-threatening attack. Remsburg is blind in one eye, and he has difficulty moving on his left side. But he is making progress. Day by day, he's learned to speak again and stand again and walk again. And he's working toward the day when he can serve his country again.